for coming, guys. Um, well, I'm Wang. I'm doing as breaker. Uh, I will share my personal story with you in the next a few minutes. Uh, I'm original come from Beijing, China. Yeah, I remember when I was little, I grew up with a lot of loves from family member, friend, and uh, childhood friends. It's a lot of fun. It's like the best time I have ever in my life. It's, I had really amazing childhood. I was really naughty and an annoying kid in the whole neighborhood. <laughs> I was like one very, one very boogie little guy. And uh, everyone knew me. I was really famous in the community. And uh, actually, I was so spoiled by my parents and my grandparents, just like all the Asian guys, right? And um, I already. I always get a good thing and a bad things, and uh, I have nothing to worry about, nothing to consider uh, for my future life, and everything has been taken care of. And uh, until I, I mean, that's step by step, finished the kindergarten, finished the elementary school, finished high school, and experienced some unsuccessful young college relationship, and then until one day that changed my life and I decided to, to go abroad, to go outside of China, to go to Canada to pursue my MBA degree. Yeah, and back then it was like two years ago. In the year of 2016, when I was preparing for the paperwork for MBA application, I've been told in, in, I've been told in order to be eligible for that, I need to pass a language test. It's called ELS. As all international people they need to do if they want to take any school in Canada. So we all have second language barrier sometimes. So sometimes the thing they don't go like you planned it. They don't go that way. So I, I I try so hard, I do try so hard to pass the L's, which took me half a year. I failed first time, I failed second, I failed three times in half a year. Wow. I was really depressed. I happy. I'm motivated. I was impression and I stressed. I lost actually. I, I lost. I lost myself. And then I take one more time. I feel again. It's like I feel, 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 feel again. I feel I'm a loser. I'm like I'm like a life loser. I, I was like, damn, this is not a place I'm supposed to be. I'm not supposed to be in Canada. Maybe I I just chose the wrong place. Maybe I was wrong. I should back to China. Maybe stay with my family and my friends. Uh, yeah, that's my hometown, right? So, yeah, and uh, that's the most sad time of my life so far. Um, and then, yeah, and I booked a flight ticket back to China on Expedia. So, a friend of mine, he, he talked to me, Hey, William, since you ride in North America, you should go somewhere else besides BC, right? So you need to see the real um, North America, not just in BC. There's a lot of place beautiful beside here. I was like, okay, wait a minute, sure. Since I already landed in this amazing place, this amazing continent, I should go outside BC. So I decided to take a road trip to to Boston, to Massachusetts, to see the harbor, yeah, which is my dream place, because I want to go. I want to go hard, right? so, uh, and so I just had to take a road trip. I, I grabbed some friends of mine, we took a road trip, which is, takes two weeks. I finally I arrived at Harvard. I was really impressed. Oh, everyone was, was kind of relaxed. They don't really spend too much time on study. They play around, they hang out with friends, share happiness, share ideas. They don't really like the, the gig people you think you imagine with heavy glasses, uh, two grids, who stay in the library for a whole day. They don't really like that day. They are really re re relaxed. <laughs> they even they read, read books, uh, grab some food, and the, the tree, share ideas for the future, and maybe uh, prepare for the startup organization, of their future company, their future business plan. They don't really look like that way. I was really surprised, impressed. And then I realized, yeah, yeah, I don't need to change myself. I need to change my lifestyle. I need to turn negative into positive, to share happiness with positive people, to, to make my life more sociable, to 
to help with people who's more optimistic, who's more up. So I do need that. I'm so young. I'm 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 not I'm not losing. I need to change my life. Then I back to Vancouver. I, yeah, I was there in Vancouver. And I decided to give myself one more shot. And at the same time, making myself more sociable by hanging out with more positive people, join more uh, uh, organization. And yeah, after a couple of months gone, with my positive social life, well time management, self organized, and the commitment to my dream, to my goal, I finally make it. I passed the exam. Yes. Yeah. I made it, seven. Seven scores. And then after yeah, and then after a couple of weeks with I with my good GPA and a seven L's seven marks with L's and a two years working experience, I received the offer. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what I learned from my story that I would like to share with you guys. First, sometimes the things they don't go with the way like you planned it. As a human being, at least we put it with effort. With chips are done, we need to see the good side of it, see the positive side, be positive all the time. Second, always encourage yourself to find out your real goal, your passion, what's the thing you do, you really want to make you feel happy every day. Third, we all have dream, we all have vision. Feels like we can do everything on, on ourselves, but we we don't. We sometimes it does the way we want. Sometimes they don't. Some good day, some bad day. So it's about how much disappointment you have to endure. It's about how you respond to tough situation with personal per, with personal persistence. That happens on anyone when you go through with your life struggles. Don't co don't complain, don't blame, work hard, study harder than anyone else. Put you put yourself in position to succeed. Uh, finally, I hope you guys can learn a little bit from my myself or my own story to inspire you yourself to solve problem that you go through with your own life struggles. Um, finally, stay positive, stay passionate. Thank you.